Today on Horseland, danger lurks deep in the forest. Come back here, you guys! Will Scarlet and Sarah be able to save their friends? Welcome to Horseland. This is one fine place to call home. Yes, Ship. This place is really great! <laughs> well, here at Horseland, dogs, pigs, cats, and horses can all talk. The thing is, the humans can't understand us. When they're around us, all they hear is meow. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Teeny, no one's ever gonna mistake you for a horse. You look exactly like what you are. You can't always judge someone by what they look like, Angora. Take Sarah, for example. Remember when she first came to Horseland? Hmm, yes. Pity about that. Whatever you think, it just goes to show you. Don't be quick to judge. <laughs> Sure is beautiful. Told you it would be worth it. You can see Horseland and the whole ranch. It is beautiful, isn't it? How'd you ever find this place, Will? Jimber and I stumbled on it long time back. <laughs> we come here every once in a while. What's the matter, Scarlet? What's got you spooked? I don't see anything. Probably just the wind, huh, girl? Hmm. You're on to something, Scarlet. Thanks, Shep. I'm glad someone understands me. I can't see anything wrong up there. I know we don't speak the same language, Scarlet, but I know you're telling me there is something wrong out there. Why is Sarah taking so long with Scarlet? <laughs> Sometimes I think Sarah speaks horse. She has a gift, you know. Something's bugging Scarlet, but I don't know what. She keeping secrets from you again? <laughs> hey, don't feel bad, Sarah. Nobody tells me anything either. You guys shouldn't laugh. You know, Sarah has a way with horses. Es verdad. It's true. Remember the first day at Horseland? Hijoles. Oh, come on. It wasn't a big deal. The first time we saw you, Sarah, it didn't start out very well, and it only got worse. Man, it was a big deal. Everybody knew you were coming. Excuse me? Not Alma and me. No one bothered to give us the 411. What's going on around here? Didn't we just do the grooming and cleaning? The good news is the arena's empty. Come on, let's do some practicing. Uh, not so fast. You can help me clean up now. 
Bailey's mom and dad want this place looking extra good today. Why? What's so special about today? New girl coming. Now get busy raking. Aww. Sure, that's why we came to Horseland, to rake dirt. Hey, Bailey, what's with the camera? Yeah, camera's dad's idea, to shoot a video of the lessons for the new girl. Just who is this new girl? The president's daughter? Close enough. Heard of Sarah Whitney? Her dad's got huh? bank. He's one of the richest guys in the whole state. What'd you say, Bailey? A rich girl? One of the Whitney's? Yeah, Zoe, and since my mom and dad own this place... Yes? They want us to be real nice because this could be good for Horseland. So you two had better behave yourselves. Oh, we will. Hey, we know money. Make yourself useful and help clean up. Great. All we need is another girl like them. Angora, is this more of your Kati gossip? Very funny. I got it straight from the horse's mouth. Richest girl in the known universe. That's what Bailey said. You know, Pepper, her new horse is gonna be a real thoroughbred. With papers, of course. Oh, at last, somebody we can talk to, Chili. You can have all the papers in the world, and he's not gonna make you a better jumper. Hey, guys, over here. Let's get these horses groomed. And just when I was starting to enjoy raking. I can't believe we're doing all this extra work because her dad's rich. My dad's a dentist. No one cleans my stable. My dad manages this place, but nobody does my work for me. Hey, my dad owns this place, and I don't get any breaks either. Well, I don't mind doing our own chores, but why are we doing everyone else's? What happened to Chloe and Zoe? Shouldn't they be helping? Ah, uh, those two always disappear when there's dirty work. They wouldn't want to soil their designer duds. I haven't seen so much elbow grease in a dog's age. You'd think royalty was coming. What you figure this new horse is going to be like? Like chili and pepper. A high-stepping snob. Ooh, sounds like the fur's gonna fly. And I've got front row tickets. There, that's it. Listo. When the lessons are done, we ought to let the new girl take all this equipment down by herself. I'm all for that. Sounds like the new arrival is here. Hmm. Check out that ride! Whoa! That limo's bigger than a barn! She's even richer than we imagined! That's too much car for one girl. She probably has her whole prep school in there. Look at that limo, it's bigger than ours. She's so like us. I know, Chloe, the day just keeps getting better. Would you look at that? Pretty fancy trailer for one horse. Look, just because the trailer's nice doesn't mean the horse is bad. Well, at least things are getting interesting around here. <laughs> Finally, Chili, a horse worthy of our friendship. Here she comes. Wow. How do I look? How do I look? How do I look? We are so outnumbered now. Wow. She's gorgeous. Here we are, Scarlet. What do you think? I think we're gonna like it here. Hi, I'm Chloe, welcome. And I'm Zoe, double welcome. That's a sweet riding habit. Svalinsky, right? That is classic for a million. Love your hair. Heidendahl, right? And your boots. I have those in brown. Are they a size six? My shoes are a size six. Whoa, I'm Sarah. 
Thank you for all that, but I'm looking forward to meeting everyone here. Looks like they're hitting it off pretty good. What'd you expect, Bailey? Hi, I'm Sarah. It's my first day. Name's Molly. Bailey. Alma. Um, okay. I'm Will. Don't pay any attention to them. Come on, Sarah. We'll get you we'll settled. We'll show you where everything is. You see that? Hi, I'm Sarah. My trailer's so Euro. My outfit's all designer. Oh, this is good. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. The grilled cheese is the best. Oh but probably not as good as you're used to. Sarah, there you are. What are you doing? Come with us. See that? Cut right in front of us. So, you like it here at Horseland? Yeah, sure. You bet. Why wouldn't we like it here? Oh, I didn't mean that. I only meant... Hey, Scarlet. And never mind those old nags. I'm Pepper. And I'm Chili. You can talk to us. Talk to the tail. Go, Pepper. Go, Chili. It's a cat fight. Oh, yeah. But why are our friends being so mean to that nice horse? Because, Tina, they've already made up their minds about her. You know, sometimes people and horses can be as stubborn as mules. I still don't get it. Hmm. Hi. Do you guys know where I should put my things? Any open spot's good. Thanks. But, uh, that one's not open. Oh, okay. How about this one? There was a girl using it last summer, and, you know, she might come back. Right, got it. I think there ought to be something down there on the end. Yeah, I understand. Oh, Chef, isn't there something we can do? <laughs> Sometimes humans can be meaner than snakes. <clears throat> they can be meaner than cats. <laughs> Stick with us, Scarlet, and you'll fit in just fine. Right. You don't want to hang out with them, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? We're better than they are. We have superior lineage, better pedigrees. We are the best of the best. Horses like us have to stay together. No, I don't think so. I choose my friends for who they are, not for their pedigree. Whatever you say. Can I help you, Molly? It's okay. This is my job. Maybe I can help, Alma. Do you have another rake? I can handle it. Bailey? Got it covered. Look, maybe we started out wrong. Can we try again? Sarah, we're all the same here. Nobody's better than anybody else. I don't get it. I never said I... Okay, never mind. Guess I just don't belong here. What happened to Sarah? What'd you do to her? Where's she going? Said something about leaving. Maybe she decided horse land's not for her. <gasps> You're kidding. Horse land gets one decent girl and you chase her away. This is bad. Horse land does need new students. I can't believe you judged her without giving her a chance. That's like, like something we'd do. Okay, that's scary. Do you think we maybe kinda jump to conclusions about her? Maybe. She did try to help. Let's cut her some slack and see how it goes, okay? Yeah. yeah. You 
we've jumped before, so I'm not going to bother with the basics. Today, we work on form. When you get near the jump, follow the horse's lead. Move like the horse moves. Keep your back like the horse's and your heels down. And you're going to slide to the rear of the saddle. Okay, watch me. Who's first? Alma? No problema. Let's get Scarlet in a little trouble. Watch this. <laughs> Chili, what are you doing? Stay button. Don't get up yet. It's just a little scrape. Button, mi querida. It's okay. Sarah's calming her. We've got to get you taken care of, Alma. Oh, oh, poor button. Chip, we've got to do something, Chip. No, we don't, Tina. The new girl's a natural. She's all button needs. Maybe, but her horse is a beast. Why not even I would do something like that? What are you talking about, Angora? Didn't you see? Scarlet bit Button. It's gonna be all right, Button. I'm here. You're gonna be fine. <gasps> Look at that. How terrible. <gasps> I know. What is that girl thinking? She's gonna ruin that designer jacket. <sighs> Poor Button. Everything's going to be all right. Sarah will help her. If it wasn't for you, she wouldn't need anybody's help. What do you mean? Uh, I didn't do anything. She's right, Aztec. Scarlet had nothing to do with it. It was chilly. I saw him. I don't see why everyone's making such a big fuss over Button. She'll be fine. I agree. You shouldn't have bitten her, but it's not like one of us got hurt. There you go, Alma. Does that feel better? It's not me I'm worried about. Oh, me pobrecita, Button! I can take over now, Sarah. It's okay, Will. I don't mind. Your riding clothes are ruined. Clothes can be replaced, Will. Horses can't. Oh, please. Of course horses can be replaced. I don't like the sound of that. We saw the whole thing. It was her horse that did it. That high-strung Arabian. Oh, really? Film at 11, girls. Care for a little instant replay? Hoo, hoo! Goody, goody! We're gonna see a movie? Who's got popcorn? Chili, how could you? This is so embarrassing. Thanks, Dr. Martin. Sarah, the vet said you did a great job. I didn't do anything special. That's not true. You calmed Button down better than I could. And I've been riding her for five years. Yeah, you did pretty good, Sarah. Uh-huh. I guess you have a real way with horses. Face it, chica. You've got the magic touch. Thank you for saving my Button. Gracias. Group, Group hug. hug. Count us out. Come on. Ugh. Let's get out of here before the muck gets any deeper. Maybe somebody owes Sarah an apology? Yeah, we thought you were going to be spoiled rotten and stuck up like Chloe and Zoe. But we were way wrong. Welcome to Horseland, Sarah. You will stay, won't you? Sure. I may be rich, but money can't buy friendship. And friendship's all I ever wanted. Sarah, we're glad you didn't leave that day. Me too. What is it? Something's out there. Something dangerous. I smell it too. What's 
you've gotten into her, Sarah? I'm not sure. I think we'd better get out of here, Will. Now! <gasps> A mountain lion! <laughs> Thanks for rounding up the horses, Sarah. That's our girl. Sarah, you ruined your outfit again. Oh, well. Just clothes. Yeah, Sarah, you're nothing like what we expected. And we sure are glad. Guess you can't judge a girl by her limo. <laughs> Sarah certainly did work out to be the best thing to happen to Horseland. So I'm glad there was a happy ending. Now, that was fun, and we're all back to normal now. Wayne's dinner. Ooh, that story made me hungry. Let's eat. Then maybe another movie and some popcorn. Hush up. <laughs> <laughs>